The difference between the two halves of this one graveyard is plain to see. One side is neat and orderly, the other smashed to pieces. On December 3rd, around a dozen men stormed the cemetery in the middle of the night. Armed with guns, pickaxes, and sledgehammers, they set upon these graves, determined to destroy tombstones inscribed with Quranic verses. The people buried here are Ahmadis, members of a minority sect that identifies itself as Muslim, but most Pakistanis regard the Ahmadis as heretics because they believe there was a prophet after Muhammad, and many of them frown on Ahmadis using Muslim prayers in epitaphs. Ahmed Benir is a spokesman for the community. He didn't want to show his face because he feared he'd be punished for speaking out, but told me the attack didn't come as a complete surprise. There was an application against our uh, graveyard in which uh, they wanted us to uh, to remove all the kalma and uh, other Islamic text which had been written on these tombstones. So this was in the back of our mind that some, something might happen. The discrimination faced by Ahmadis is perhaps unsurprising because in many ways it's mandated by the state. In 1974, Pakistan's first elected prime minister, Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, introduced a constitutional amendment which declared Ahmadis non-Muslims. That means they're prohibited by law from making the call to prayer, describing their houses of worship as mosques, or even identifying themselves as Muslims. Professor Hamad Lakvi is a prominent Islamic scholar. He told me he doesn't think the graveyard should have been attacked, but he didn't condemn the attackers either. No one should take the law into their own hands, but you can't say categorically what these people did was wrong. Ahmadi shouldn't have put Islamic inscriptions on their tombstones. Sometimes the discrimination against Ahmadis turns violent. In 2010, the Taliban attacked two Ahmadi mosques in Lahore and killed 93 people. But there was limited public outcry, and the normally outspoken media were noticeably restrained in their coverage. Police are investigating the graveyard attack, but very few believe they'll ever arrest those responsible, or that attacks against this community will end anytime soon. Imtiaz Tayyab Al Jazeera, Lahore.